Snapchat opens up its platform to third-party developers, the 2018 World Cup is a testbed for new technology, and Tesla announces full autopilot. It's all the tech news that'll be popular this week. Welcome to Hashtag Trending. It's Monday, June 18th, and I'm Andy Kovacs. First up from LinkedIn, Snapchat's parent company, Snap Inc., has begun working with third-party developers and appears to be determined to avoid the privacy issues experienced by Facebook. The company's new software developer kit makes certain that developers can't get a hold of any personal data on users or their friends, and it has explicitly said that it doesn't plan on using third-party data in targeted advertising for partners like Tinder. Bloomberg notes, however, that the move does put Snapchat squarely at a disadvantage with competitors like Google and Facebook, which both collect online data in order to market products to users. Next up, you've undoubtedly seen that the World Cup officially began last week and has been trending on just about every social media platform since. This year's tournament is in Russia and is serving as sort of a testbed for new technology. For the first time ever, video replay and goal line technology will be used at the World Cup, and all referees will have special connected watches that can get notifications from the technology and help them more accurately determine extra time. The entire tournament will be broadcast in 4K and 8K, as well as virtual reality in some cases through Facebook's Oculus Go app. SAP is working with Team Germany to unveil a new sports video analytics platform, and all the game balls will have tracking microchips in them. I don't know who you're rooting for, but technology might be the winner already. You can also find out more on this week's Tech and Sports podcast, which is part of the ITWC podcast network. And last but not least, Tesla announced that it will turn on fully autonomous features in its vehicle's self-driving autopilot software this August. CEO Elon Musk announced the major autopilot rollout in a Twitter response to someone who was concerned with how their Tesla handled lane merging when on autopilot. He said that the new version of the software will fully support functional autonomous activities and will also fix the alert system that requires drivers to touch the wheel every 30 seconds or so when on autopilot. The last software update to Tesla's autopilot was in June 2016, so this is a much-needed upgrade. The company's over-the-air technology also means this update will be automatic, which means owners won't need to take their vehicles to a service center for the new tech. Well, that's what will trend this week. Hashtag Trending is a part of the ITWC podcast network. Look for more of our content on iTunes, Google Play, or wherever else you get your podcasts from. You can also add them to your Alexa Flash Briefing or your Google Assistant Daily Briefing. Once again, I'm Mandy Kovacs. Thanks for listening.